Hi, I'm Will A, and this is my second milestone, which was being able to control the lock with my phone. And there's the bolt right there, so it just unlocked. So basically, this is essentially the same thing I did in my first milestone, but on my phone. So I've made a few adjustments to it, mostly like mechanically to make the servo interface with the lock and turn it. But aside from that, I'm using a, a software called Weaved, which gives me access to the Raspberry Pi from anywhere on my phone. And that is basically all I've really changed with the code aspect. So if you want to know more about that, check out the first milestone video. And there's not a whole lot else to talk about, but modifications I'm going to make. I'm going to try to power the servo with some other power supply other than my computer or whatever power is supplying that, because then it won't be as, like, it doesn't work super well. There's a red light on the Raspberry Pi right there, and when it blinks like that, it means it's not very pleased with the current it's putting through it. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm also going to try to write a web app so that it's just one touch button to unlock and lock, uh, to unlock, and lock it, because right now I have to type in code every time, which is pretty annoying. And then on top of that, I'm going to maybe add a geofence and try to add an automatic locking feature after like 20 minutes or something.